Hello there everybody and welcome to or welcome back to the channel. Today we're here with a very interesting note. This here is the Hong Kong Shanghai Banking Corporation $5 note for Hong Kong from, uh, made on the 31st of March 1975. So let's hop straight into it and go off and just talk about it from the front first and then we'll flip it over onto the back. The front has a lot more on it to cover so um, best get cracking eh? So. First of all, if we go up and look at the border here, we can see a rat. Oh, camera didn't focus there, hang on. Sorry about that. We can see around the edges, it simply says five or mm in Chinese. This here simply just being the denomination of the note. And then we move along from the beautifully decorated border with all those nice lines to the wording across the top. The Chinese, red right to left, says Hern Gong, Sern Hoi. These two words I can't read. And then Un Hon. Basically saying the same as the English beneath Hong Kong, Hern Gong, Shanghai, Sern Hoi. Banking Corporation. Corporation meaning these two words here. Sorry, these two words here. And bank. Focus again. Bank meaning these two words here. As an overall, it's a very complicated way to read but Chinese at the time was written right to left nowadays it's typically written left to right as you'll see on some modern notes if I do show some of this video. Now underneath that it simply says promises to pay the bearer on demand at its office here five dollars. Now the Chinese around it here just says mm, yun, just meaning five dollars. In between this you can see an amazing coat of arms there, that there being the Hong Kong coat of arms, I believe. And I'm not sure if you can see it on camera, but the coat of arms in the centre features an image of a bunch of men and some ships there. Very beautiful. And it's got some nice decoration around the edges as well, of course. And $5 is surrounded by a little box, beautifully written. And to give the full line again, just because I did miss a bit, sorry. Okay, where is it? There you go. Promises to pay the bearer on demand at its office here, or the five dollars, or the equivalent in the currency of the colony value received. Hong Kong, thirty first March nineteen seventy five, by order of the board of directors, chief accountant and general manager. Now, from what I've read online, this could very well be wrong, mind you. The chief accountant here should be. Deal it Mondroit and the general manager being Honi Sot Quimal Yepens. Could very well be wrong, however, that is what I have found online. But yeah, let's keep moving here. So on the bottom for the characters, it just says Hong Kong, just meaning Hong Kong. And then as you can see here, the main feature of the front of the note is the lady there sitting just looking to the left that there's just a seated woman just looking to the left there at the sailing ships in the middle and the coat of arms above it now there is one more very minor detail to be shown on this part of the note that there is all at the bottom where it says bradbury wilkinson and co is that l what's that say Sorry about this. It's a bit hard to read sometimes because of the camera. Okay. Bradbury Wilkinson and Co. Uh, Low New Malden, Surrey, England. Which is basically where this note was printed. Now, my FM number on this note is number 975925. Repeated once on the left and once on the right. Now, before I go off and flip this over, I believe it is time that I showed you the watermark. Give me one second whilst I go get a bright light. Alrighty, I'm back. So, I'm going to pick up the note now and shine the light through it so you can see the watermark. The watermark on this note is a very beautiful image, if you can see it in a second. I think that should now be visible to the camera. Now there is a picture of a helmeted Lady Britannia. I'm not sure if that's too easy to see on the camera. 
but I can see it personally. There you go. Beautiful watermark there. All right. Now then, let's go flip it over and look at the back. The back here is a wonderfully designed back. It's got a lot of decoration around the edges there, as you can see. And it's just got a lot of the number five written on it, really. So in the top left, it says five in array with numerals, same as in the bottom right. Top right and bottom left, it says mm in Chinese. Now in the left little frame here, beautifully decorated once again with a very similar border to the um, other side of the note. We've got a sort of scalloped shape with the number five and the word dollars beneath it. Once again, telling you the denomination. And in a circled uh, frame with a lady playing a trumpet with angel wings and a scroll beneath her, we can see a picture of some office blocks there with some houses in the background or similar in the mountains. Underneath it, the wording says the Hong Kong and Shanghai Banking Corporation. And then to the right is the blank frame. Now through this frame, once again, let me pick up the note. You can see Lady Britannia there staring off to the right, wearing her helmet. I'm not sure how visible that is on camera, but um, yeah, there's an overall, once again, very nice watermark. Now this note here can be quite valuable actually, especially in the condition that I've managed to keep it in. Well, <laughs> not me, but my grandma managed to keep it in. So the value can go up or down depending on where you're selling and buying it, but there is an average of course, and eBay seems to agree that this note is worth quite a bit. It can typically be worth anywhere from £5 to £10 really. It's <laughs> Yeah, it's a bit complicated to go up and price this. It really depends upon the um, the serial number you've got there, as well as, of course, the condition of the note. Mine, I'd probably go off and rate it at a solid five to six pounds of value compared to the others, as it's not got a very good serial number. But once again, it's in really good condition. As an overall, very beautiful note, and a note that a lot of people should go off and have in their collection if they can actually go off and do it. Once again. Great note, guys. Seriously, I love it to bits. It's such a nice note, such a good design to it. Now, I, I did mention earlier in the video that I would go off and show a newer note to show that the Chinese is now written, you know, right, uh, left to right rather than right to left. Uh, here's a note that I just pulled out of my wallet. This here is a slightly older uh, Hong Kong 50 dollars note from a different bank, Standard Chartered. They do now write left to right where it says I can't read this I'm sorry but this is a standard chartered bank Hong Kong so yeah that's basically <laughs> just the way that the writing's changed I'll probably talk about that note in the future but all right thank you guys so much for watching and it's been a great time just showing you this note all right hope you guys enjoy the video please do like and um do give a subscription as well if you feel like it all right good night everyone